what do you mean by she was too beautiful look nothing in this world is beautiful or ugly the person who is thinking that she is too beautiful is carrying a load of shit borrowed knowledge and the person who is carrying herself thinking she is so beautiful is carrying a lot of shit borrowed knowledge both are not the truth the truth is feel smell taste touch and see your experience in this a uh, beautiful world everything in the nature is beautiful like what they say the earth has provided enough for man's needs but not for his greed likewise the earth has provided enough for man's enjoyment everything in my shop is the most beautiful the best said the butcher likewise if the day you think this is not beautiful you try to imitate that's a day you accepted the first step of your death you're all living like dead bodies walking like dead bodies what swami vivekananda has said this is a 50th story from the zen flesh zen bones written by paul reps reunion's clear realization The Buddhist nun known as Rion and was born in 19, 1797. She was a granddaughter of the famous Japanese warrior Shinken. Her poetical genius and alluring beauty were such that at 17 she was serving the empress as one of the ladies of the court. Even at such a youthful age fame awaited her. Here they say the warrior daughter granddaughter of the famous japanese warrior was beautiful it seems hence she was taken in the court to be the assistant to the empress all this emperors emp kings all those have become copycats the kings and the emperors have got zero knowledge about life experience hence they go with the term beautiful ugly and the moment you say beautiful they wanted it painted like what the advices have told them and that paint is painted culture's beautiful so you don't get the originality you can get anything painted but inside there is a devil that is not counted hence when the emperors were ruling and he was pro- projected with a beautiful girl or beautiful things or beautiful wine and beautiful food beautiful buildings all those was artificial when the king was artificial people he made the people artificial with that the death happened and you can see centuries passed kingdoms of the kingdoms of were wiped away but only the saintly person's name stands and that name is called the nature the saintly person's name stands that is called the sun the moon the wind so beautiful the earth you can also become like that the beloved emperor died suddenly and rionin's hopeful dreams vanished she became acutely aware of the impermanency of life in this world i was then that she decided it was then that she decided decide to study zen her latest disagreed how and practically forced her into marriage with a promise that she might become a nun after she had become she has born three children Orion ascended before she was 25 she had accomplished this condition yes after she left the palace she went to project her duplicity the emperor died she was thinking she knew but nobody will accept in this world that she was duplicate neither she will accept she was duplicate 
So she knew nothing is permanent. She left to learn Zen, but her relatives told her, no, first marriage, minimum have three children, then you decide. She said, completed the marriage, have three children, then she said, I want to go to become Zen. Yes. Try to be something. Never becomes evil. You jumped from one place to another to another. You're jumping from one jail to another jail. Why did you change this jail? Because you felt the other jail is much better. So I killed one more person so I can get a bad, bigger jail. But your criminal mind is the same. Reunion, which means to realize clearly and stated on her pilgrimage. And stated on her pilgrimage. She came to the city of Edo and asked Tetsugyu to accept her as a disciple. At one glance, the master rejected her because she was too beautiful. Reunion then went to another master, Hakuo. Hakko refused her for the same reason, saying that her beauty would only make trouble. There was no beauty. She is thinking there was beautiful. The two masters refused because she was carrying a load that I am beautiful. She was carrying a load that I am so and so. She was carrying a load that I am a girl. She was carrying a load that everybody is looking at me to molest and rape and touch and kiss. She's just carrying the load. Everybody understands. She's carrying like the lady, the richest lady went to a master and the, she was carrying a lot of diamonds and gold ornaments. said, Master, please accept me as your disciple. Master said, yes, first, first remove all your uh, ornaments and give to me. She said, Master, give me a day's time. Next day, she came and returned all the ornaments. One week passed, two weeks passed. She started spreading the rumor in the ashram, telling the master is a robber. He has taken my ornaments and not returned. So the master's senior disciple went and told the master, when I came, you did the same to me. You asked me to strip naked. I stripped naked. And you said, okay, take your clothes and ornaments and go. I stayed with you for 25 years. Now, this lady came. Why do you need ornaments? You don't need. You're already having such a beautiful ashram. You yourself don't wear anything. Return it back. He said, no, no, no I won't return back. But this lady is cunning. I said, strip. And she said, give me one day time. So I gave her room next to you. So she must have asked you. And you must have told, last time when I came, I returned the ornaments. But I refused to return. She didn't get the order. She's now spreading the rumor. It has now gone to the city and all the newspapers. This is master's color. Now I'm happy because the people who think they are coming there to become a disciple should be ready to surrender. Those who are greedy holding on, if I allow her inside, she will rob and make me also rob the others because she's still holding on to her possessions. Same thing with the, this nun. She was wearing a lot of ornaments. And that is going to create, trouble. not that she's beautiful. She's carrying a lot of ornaments, what all her, too many bags. And then very next day she'll come and complain, Master, somebody has robbed. That's why the masters do not allow. Renan obtained a hot iron rod and placed it against her face. In a few moments, her beauty has vanished forever. Hakua then accepted her as a disciple. Later on, she understood that carrying the ornaments, not that iron rod that she put it on the face and made her ugly. No, 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 no. She didn't put any iron rod. People are thinking Renan put an iron rod. No, no. What they said is, burn the toughest stone should be put to the highest fire, highest temperature of the fire and the gold melts for the artist to make varieties of ornaments. So she decided to burn herself, all her borrowed knowledge. And when she became empty, she could see the beautiful, she could take both hands and folded hands and 
say namaste to the master. She refused to say namaste. She must have given a hand, stretched hand. The son never sits under the British Empire. The British should straight and shook hands. And the big tree fell down in a massive big wind. But the Indians did Shastag Namaskara and they were like the long grass. When the wind came, it danced to the tune and it never broke. The sun never sits and the British Empire broke into pieces. She burnt it like a grass. She was now good dance. She could now do her Shastag Namaskara flat. She became healthy. That was what she said. Yes. Commemorating on this occasion, Rene wrote a poem to the back of a little mirror. In the service of my emperors, I burn incense to perfume my exquisite clothes. Now as a homeless mendicant, I burn my face to enter a Zen temple. Burn my face means that face is faceless. It is death. What was your face before when your parents were born? Did it have a Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra face? Did it have a Hindu, Muslim, Christian face? In the service of my emperors, I burned incense to perfume my exquisite clothes. Now as a homeless mendicant, I burn my face to enter a Zen temple. Burn it, yes. Burn it, face. I removed my face. There was no face of a Hindu, Muslim, Christian, or boy or a girl. When you see that it's a girl, then you forget that she's a sister, you wanted to rape her, you wanted to molest her, you want to have her, you want to possess her, you want to marry her, she want to have her as wife. The girl also thinks the same on the other side. That's why she burnt it, burnt her face, yes. When Rionan was about to pass from this world, she wrote another poem. 66 times have these eyes beheld the changing scenes of autumn. I had have enough, I have had enough about moonlight. Ask no more, only listen to the voice of the pines and cedars when no wind stirs. When there is no wind, you can still hear the stones and the mountains and cedars and the pine. That is the sound of the one hand. That is the sound of the one hand clap. She was too beautiful.